Hi guys, how you doing? What we have here is a cover rate, a 1.6 MK1 or a VW uh, Golf cover rate. So we're going to talk about how a cover rate works. Uh, what we have here is an inlet. So this is where your petrol enters in. It is where your petrol enters the carburetor and then this is your what do you call your your vacuum lines uh, your vacuum lines also this one is your vacuum line this one is your what do you call your your choke vacuum line so uh, this one is a double this carburetor is a double barrel carburetor this is uh, your barrels here. This one. This one is the is the one that uh, is the one that starts your 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 engine. And then this one is when you are at high speed, it starts uh, to open also. So also this one is your vacuum, and then this one here is your throttle. So when you press it. When you press, I mean, when you press your your accelerator, the throttle goes like that. Uh, I think it's dark. It goes like that, so it opens. It opens. I mean, when you press your accelerator here, you press it, and then it opens that uh, uh, barrel or uh, a butterfly, and then. As air enters in and then what you have inside of this carburetor I'm going to open it up uh, what you have inside of this carburetor that you have uh, jets those jets uh, squirt uh, petrol down, down down those barrels like I'm not sure if you can see that one right there this one this one this this jet right here that one is an idling jet so what it does is that it when 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 you're not pressing the when you're not pressing the accelerator cable that one that jet right there just it, just a seep of petrol it goes like to 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 then your engines keep, keeps on uh, uh just idling and idling and idling so that, that that is the use for for that uh, jet right there so what i'm going to do now is that i'm going to open up this uh this carburetor i was just looking for a kind of screwdriver to use for me to open this carburetor so i want to show you the inside To show you the inside of the carburetor so what we have here what we have here here it is an adjustment screw for the needle and seat uh, you adjust it so but i'll show you in the inside so let me open this carburetor and then i'll bring you right back all right guys so done with the, the screws so this is the inside of the carburetor. Nah, come on. What is going on here? I'm using it one hand let me wrestle with it open it and then I'll use my two hands because I only have like one hand the other one is holding the camera the other one is trying to wrestle with the the carburetor so let me open it up and then I'll bring you back all right guys so what was holding the carburetor was just this so I needed to take that out this one out so it was holding it right there so I just needed to take it out and then 
yeah so here's the inside of the carburetor uh, it's a bit rusty there but it looks clean you know it looks absolutely clean although that rust that rust right there ah, but doesn't concern it's not concern so here is what i was talking about this is the okay so what happens here is that when the petrol or when the gas uh, or when the fuel gets in it comes uh, through through this uh, i want to show you it comes through that If I'm not sure if you can see it, where I'm pointing it with the plier right there, it comes through there. So I'm going to take this one one off. Uh, not sure if I can grab it. Come on, work with me. Okay, let's just yeah. So yeah. So what happens is that this is a, a needle, this thing right here. So it is a needle. So what happens is that when it when it goes up, so this is the upside. Although this this uh, carburetor uh, top it is standing upside down. So this is the upside. When it goes up, it actually blocks. It actually blocks the 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 petrol from entering so it, it is gonna go up it, it blocks the petrol from entering same way as as the like like the the toilet works so if you know the the, the mechanism of the toilet this one is just the same way as the uh, as how the toilet works so petrol gets in here and then this this uh, floats if, if there is no petrol inside of this pile right here so this is how uh, uh, this thing uh, stays in so if there is no petrol inside of here so this float will go down like that and then as soon as petrol gets in it goes it rises it rises it rises it rises up until it touches this uh, uh, needle here as soon as it touches this needle here and then it closes uh, the the inlet from where the petrol was entering so that it doesn't over flood because if it over floods then it is going to come out from this uh, it is going to cause a whole lot of problems so this is the main reason why you don't need an over flood in your engine it, it's going to clog up your your your, your cylinders your, your what do you call it? your your spark plugs and then your engine is not going to start but then we're not going to go into that so this is just the same way it, it works the same the carburetor works the same way like a like a what do you call it? like a like a toilet so uh prepare yourself i'm thinking of showing you on how the toilet works but then if you know how the toilet works this is the same way as how the toilet works so that that jet right there that jet right there is where is where your your, your petrol get sucked in so this is this one is why it is your secondary jet this one is your primary jet so by secondary and primary it means that when you start like when you're driving let's say around uh, you're still in gear one this is your main jet right here petrol is going to come here so this is this is why this one is is so black that is because it is used most of the time this one looks uh, entirely clean but then as you can see you can see a, a little bit of uh, darkness here it means that it's not used most of the time so yeah uh, and then what 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 happens is that 
when there is petrol in here and then you press your accelerator you see, like i've shown you before that accelerator acts like a pump so when you press it 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 sucks in a, a petrol from that jet right there and then it comes out here and then it's gonna come out here and then it shoot it 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 shoot shoot it down like that so this one blocks it from going that other side so that it goes down and then that's how you 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 get petrol to your to your cylinders so like i said it works the same way as 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 a as, as the toilet if you know how the toilet works then this works the same way uh guys i don't want the video to be long so uh, i think i'm gonna cut it right there but then uh if i forget one thing if you want to adjust your your inlet uh needle and seat this is why you adjust it here you just screw it down or up if you see that you your cover it is over flooding just use this one then you'll be good to go so I'll be explaining more on this uh, carburetor in the next videos to come because the reason why I got this carburetor is because I want to change it from uh, I have another carburetor in my bus so it is consuming a lot of petrol it is actually for a, a Toyota uh, a 4y it is for a 2.2 uh, 2.3 yeah i think it's for a 2.3 uh, uh engine this one is for a, a 1.6 uh, engine uh golf engine so i will be using this one in my bus so i just need to do a little bit of modification get a, an adapter plate then i'll be good to go clean it up and then make sure that it is not clogged up the the, the the jet are not locked up so yeah then will be good to go so this is the the choke right here so how how the choke works is that normally when you start the engine when the engine is cold so the the cover rate will be like this let me try to put it back So the carburetor will be like that. Okay. All right, so it's back. So the carburetor will be like that. So you can see now the choke is open. So the main use for the choke is that it chokes the, it chokes, what you call? It chokes the, 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 the jet so that when the engine tries to start it sucks in uh, petrol excuse me it sucks in petrol so that because uh, most of the time uh, this uh, this carburetors use uh, mechanical uh, uh, they use mechanical they use mechanical come on come on they use mechanical petrol uh, pumps not uh, electrical uh, pumps so that's why most of the time you, you just change it from mechanical to uh, electrical so that though you, you don't need this choke because i don't normally use it uh, when you enter into your car you just press your your, your accelerator cable uh, two times or three times depending on how uh, big is your your engine just go like one two three and then what happens is that you squirt uh, you, you squirt petrol into the into the cylinders so that when you when you start it already your cylinders have uh, petrol inside of them so the main use for this is that it chokes it chokes the, 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 the it chokes the the jet so that it sucks in uh, petrol all, all, all of the, all, all the time 
from uh, what happens is that when your piston goes up it, it lets out air and then when it comes down it sucks in air so when it when it comes down it sucks in it also sucks in air from it also sucks in petrol from the jet that's why uh, most of the, that's why sometimes you need to have your your choke on so that is the use for 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 the choke although i might be wrong some will, will explain it in some other way but then that's that's how i know uh, uh, that's how i know how a choke works all right guys so i'm gonna go go more into details on how this this uh this what you call uh, I, I said it before <laughs> I, i'm gonna go more into details on how the carburetor works i don't want the video to be long uh, so with that guys uh, thanks for watching don't forget to, to hit that like button if you like what i'm saying if you like if you enjoy what I, what, I, what i'm showing to you hit that uh, subscribe button or oh, if you don't understand what i'm saying or if you disagree with what i'm saying comment uh, on the comment down below i'll be uh, happy uh, i'll be obliged uh, to hear uh, from you what your views on on a carburetor or on how a carburetor works although i might be wrong on some explanation but then uh, I'll, I'll be glad if i'm if i'm uh, corrected Alright guys, thanks for watching again. See you on the next one. Bye.